Welcome to this week's edition of the Central Arkansas Football Report, along with a very uh, happy and relieved Clint Conk. I'm Justin Aker. The Bears come on the road here where it is always difficult to win in Beaumont, Texas, and knock off Lamar 26-24. And Coach, uh, I mean, you guys were dipping deep in the roster to make this one happen. It has been a, a strange year with an injury standpoint, but this is, uh, I think after the game, you called it a team win, a program win, and uh, you, you guys went pretty deep to make it work. I don't really know where to begin. Uh, it certainly was a program win uh, and again came with a pretty significant cost. We'll talk about that. Uh, couldn't be more proud of our young men, uh, our coaches. We had to take the red shirt off a couple of young men tonight on the offensive side of the football. And quite frankly, at times I wasn't sure who was in and who was out. And uh, I thought our assistant coaches did a phenomenal job. You know, Justin, yeah, I've been here 14 years and I'm telling you, this is probably the most gratifying win to do it on the road and guys, you know, Ryan Howard, his first collegiate start and the way he played and just guys that we haven't heard make those big plays this year, stepped up and made big plays. Thomas Hart, Courtney Whitehead, um, you know, Desmond Smith. Desmond Lewis only played a handful of plays and had a huge catch. Jatavius Wilson, the offensive line, Blake Beasley. I mean, just on and on. Uh, and then defensively, just the effort that they poured out and, uh, you know, kind of got shorthanded there at the end of the game. So special teams were big. Uh, Again, a program win. You know, our program we feel likes at a point, regardless of who's in the game, who's not in the game. When we go on the road, we're going to be ultra competitive and certainly came down here in a tough environment on their homecoming uh, and won a college football game. So very satisfied, very gratified, and uh, couldn't be more proud of that group of young men. Yeah, and the Bears will return home next week for their own homecoming and uh, going to go back with a smile on their face. We've got a lot to recap, so we're going to get right to it after the break. Stay with us. Your 2013 Central Arkansas Football Report is sponsored by AT&T, Baptist Health, and Crane Automotive. Front row? Oh. Okay, I'm jealous. AT&T introduces the Nokia Lumia 1020. Oh. Capture every detail with brilliant zoom at 41 megapixels. You get it only from AT&T with no down payment. Arkansans rank Baptist Health first for overall quality. You've named us the leader for women's health, for orthopedics, for heart, for rehabilitation, and for state-of-the-art technology. And with over 175 access points across the state, we can provide the highest level of care close to you. The most preferred nurses, the most trusted doctors, the best overall reputation. Baptist Health, all our best. Welcome back and uh, Bears came in here ranked 20th in the country and coach again, long odds, you know, in a lot of people's eyes coming in here, you lose your you know, leader, you know, offensively certainly, but also an emotional leader and, and really a guy that, uh, you know, a lot of people look up to certainly on this team. Winrick Smothers out for the season in his career ending injury uh, with a leg injury last week. And then, of course, in this game, you lose Chase Dixon, who I know has been, you know, such a great asset for you guys and certainly a great future for him ahead in the NFL, hopefully. But uh, it has been very difficult. But uh, and you talked about how gratifying it was when you take those things into account in addition to everything else from an injury standpoint, I'm sure it was. Well, it's very emotional. Uh, you saw the outpouring with our players coming over to Chase. You know, two of our great leaders in Winrick Smothers and, uh, and Chase Dixon. And uh, but our young men bonded together. They showed a lot of heart tonight, a lot of courage, something I've challenged them with the entire week. And uh, they really stepped up in a big way. And, uh, you know, guys made plays when they had to make plays. It was good to get Eddie Kamara back. Uh, we saw more consistency out of him tonight, kicking yeah. field goals and kickoffs. So, um, tough when you lose two seniors. That's uh, five or six guys now that we've lost for the season. Of course, Chase broke his leg tonight. And, um, you know, I thought that the team really rallied around that 
situation and uh, bonded together to go out and uh, do something really special here in uh, Beaumont tonight. Yeah, I know they were trying to give to him, and I saw him offering some words of encouragement to them as well. So it was a touching moment, hard moment, but uh, you know, it was great to see the guys rally up after that and, uh, and make some plays. And guys, win the toss. We're going to get into some game action here. Win the toss and defer. And I think everybody knew coming into this game that you know you had two really great defenses when you look. Statistically speaking, you guys and Lamar were first or second in many important categories, total defense, third down conversion rate defensively. So a lot of good things. And you know, to nobody's surprise, the defense has really got after, he, after the offenses early on. Well, particularly early on, uh, of course, uh, you know, going back to the kicking game, you know, their returner, Kevin Johnson, is just a threat every time he touches the ball. But you can see right here, uh, the defense comes up early. Uh, this was big uh, with the turnover. Unfortunately, the offense is not able to capitalize on the turnover, but you can see right here Ryan Howard. Um, uh, big throw right here. Uh, you know, call could have gone either way, but uh, Damian Watts will come back later and make a spectacular catch uh, to get us, uh, get us ignited here in this football game. Great punt by, uh, by junior John Harrison and uh, tremendous coverage by our, by our punt unit. We kind of cleaned that up from last week. Uh, uh, their running backs ran very hard. Obviously, uh, you know, they want to run the football. Uh, early we came with pressure. Uh, great coverage there by the senior coming back to Texas, Marcus Peters. Mm -hmm. uh, forces a Lamar punt. This one is uh, not returned. And Clay Murphy, I thought, and, and we'll see as we go through the night, did a great job handling punts. He did have one that kind of came out of his hands, but he was able to jump on top of it. Here's Howard, and you can see as we went through the game, and, and both he and Reed would get snaps at quarterback. And here's Taylor right here with a really good quarterback run on the on the zone read, but uh, but really got more settled in and more comfortable. We saw more of, of what we see from him in the past here. Uh, nice job ducking the defender right there and picking up a positive gain there on the run. But uh, it was great to see him kind of settle in, and boy, he made some plays late. He did right here. Uh, you know, big big uh, big throw right here to Watts, uh, incomplete. Uh, we're forced to punt. I thought Ryan did a phenomenal job. I want to give credit to, to Nathan Brown, uh, our quarterback coach. He did a you know, tremendous job, as he does with whoever the quarterback is, uh, whichever week it is, of uh, preparing uh, uh, Ryan for, that, uh, for, you know, for his first start. Justin heard back after a, a three-game suspension coach. And you know, we talked this week, and you know, it's nice to have a guy that's not coming back off an injury. I mean, he's fresh. Yeah. He was ready, and I'm sure he was more than eager to get on the field. Well, and he made his presence felt with 11 tackles, but so did this young man right here, Jonathan Wood, the sophomore from, from Brentwood, Tennessee, one of his uh, six tackles and two sacks on the night, and I thought we uh, had relentless effort the entire night uh, on, on their quarterback. Good decision here. This one will end up at the 39, but a good job by Clay just getting away from that one and, again, trying to find some offense and did get some running game going, 133 yards on the ground. I think that's the third straight week you guys have gone over 100 yards on the ground. Denzel Williams right there. Willie Matthews did not make the trip. Uh, he's back in Conway, our starting running back with a staff infection. So uh, we went with Denzel. He gave us a spark early. Uh, right here, though, uh, misidentification on the blitz pickup. We've got to get rid of the football. And, uh, and again, uh, it really is turning into a defensive back and forth. And I thought this was a you know, spectacular punt. Again, you know, the ever dangerous uh, Kevin Johnson back there, we shut him down in the, in the kicking game. A uh, little, little pressure right there, you know, kind of a toss-up for grabs right there, and Peter's in pretty good position right there, just couldn't make the play. Well, we, uh, we lose contain right here, let him get his eyes downfield. I thought that one hit the turf. They call it complete. Um, they come back here with the quick game, break down, make a good tackle, short game on first down. And, uh, you know, I thought we tackled fairly well. Uh, yeah. We bring pressure right here, uh, Hurd. Once again, uh, you know, the senior uh, from Woodland, uh, Georgia. And then uh, another senior right here, Markeith Gaines. Yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't see huge. smoke in any helmets, but there were guys playing like the hair was on fire for sure in the first half, Coach. Well, it was, uh, I thought Matt uh, Williamson and his staff did a great job with the game plan. Uh, we've got to shore up our pass coverage a little bit. Uh, we come back here with play pass with Taylor. Uh, they get us on a sack. We did give up three sacks on the night, uh, which I think we'd only given up three or four the entire, the entire year. Just miscommunication here between a first-year starting uh, quarterback. Great effort to get the young man on the ground, though, and that'll pay dividends for us here in a few minutes. But uh, when you got a freshman uh, receiver and a first-year, uh, first-time starter at quarterback, just a little miscommunication. But the defense was uh, was phenomenal right here. Great tackle right here. Great pressure. Uh, hurt again. Uh, 
actually, we, yeah, we force uh, force Lamar to a field goal. Yeah, I think he actually got a 15-yard penalty on that one after uh, the tackle. The young man got a little frustrated by, by being tackled by by Hurd and it backed him up and, and made it uh, made it a field goal instead. And there's Howard kind of in between, coach, on, on sliding or running, and uh, did a nice job with the pick up there. Well, uh, you know, he's uh, he's crafty and shifty uh, for a guy that probably runs about five flat, five <laughs> one, but uh, you know. Obviously, we lose a little bit of mobility there, but he has such a quick release and a uh, uh, good high football IQ. Uh, the bubble screen will be a big play here in this game. Uh, they hit us there for one, uh, hit the back leaking out of the backfield. Uh, and again, we're going to really have to shore up our, uh, our pass coverage next week. Well, that's another kid that you'll yep. be seeing. That's Harrington. He's a freshman and a true freshman. You'll be seeing him for a few more years. Almost got to the quarterback right there. And and a nice job breaking up the pass. Yeah, good job there by Peters. And, uh, uh, and once again, right here on a, yeah. on, on a, on a conversion down, uh, the senior from Longview. And uh, nice job right here by, uh, by Clay Murphy uh, with the fair catch. Bears backed up. We come back here with the, uh, the middle zone. Good physical run by Blake Veasley, the, uh, the sophomore running back uh, from Cherry Valley. And uh, we lost Denzel again during the game. Uh, and uh, Blake had to pick up the majority of the work along with Kelton Warren, a young man we took the red shirt off of. But nice pitching catch to, to Dixon. We come back right here on a possession down to Dixon. Great job by Ryan, offensive line. First down. Uh, it was important that we come back and answer right here. And uh, again on a possession down, we go back to, uh, go back to Dixon. And then Jatavius Wilson, the true freshman from Bastrop, Louisiana, gave us about uh, 40 yards uh, that were big uh, in this game. Nice run here again by Veasley. Physical. I mean, he, he finishes every run, coach, and arm tackles are not happening with him. And then here's Kamara with one of his big field goals on the night. Well, the young man actually got knocked out there on that play, uh, on that run by Blake Veasley. But uh, again, we've got to uh, we've got to sure this up here. Uh, you know, double move, and uh, we bid on the first one. Uh, big tackle there by by Dylan Winfrey, the sophomore from Bryant. Uh, we beat on man coverage again. This was uh, this was not one of our better uh, better series right here. We missed a tackle, one of the few that we missed on the night. Uh, Justin Love there, the senior. We got to wrap up, play another down, and Lamar's able to, to throw it in. Yeah, ten to three, and you guys get one more possession here. It's a nice run by Taylor Reed, but uh, kept the ball on the ground, let the clock run down, and uh, you guys get the ball back first in the second half. So just kind of. You know, not overly conservative, but uh, you know, some safe runs there. And, and Taylor did have a couple of nice runs on that last possession. Well, the defense has dominated for the yeah. most part. A lot of tackles for loss, a lot of sacks. Everybody was kind of feeling everybody out. Uh, we're, you know, Ryan was trying to get into a rhythm. Obviously, we injected uh, Taylor in the game. And uh, but the second half, there was a lot more scoring. And uh, uh, fortunately for the Bears, uh, we made one more play than uh, than Lamar Cardinal. So yeah. uh, pleased with that. All right. Well, I mean, a heck heck of a lot of highlights from the second half. We'll come back and look at those in just a moment. Welcome back, second half now, and as we mentioned, the Bears win the toss, defer, we'll get the ball back uh, first in the second half. No surprise here after watching uh, a little too much speed on the back end on the return game, Coach, and I guess you can get used to this. Going to go pooch kick and a nice job by Joe Carmichael fighting for some yards there. Absolutely, and a great field position, and I thought that this was important that we respond coming out of the out of the locker room. Yeah, what a great Good run, here. good catch there by Blake Gardner, one of his couple of catches on the night, the sophomore uh, from, uh, from uh, San Antonio. Protection breaks down, but Ryan makes positive yards. This was a huge uh, third down play right here. 
Uh, we mentioned Damian Watts would make a big play to yeah. ignite us, and the, uh, the junior from Texacana certainly did. And this was one of the special plays that we had down the red zone. Tremendous throw, tremendous catch, and what a wonderful effort uh, by Chase Dixon, which unfortunately would probably be his last catch of his career here at, uh, at the university. Extra point is up and good, and you mentioned it, Coach. I mean, you couldn't have asked for a better start to the second half. Six plays, 61 yards, ties it up at 10 apiece. Well, big hit right there on the, on the outside read zone by Bobby Watkins, the third. Good tackle right here by Love, uh, the senior from West Memphis, Ricky Wyatt Jr. from Monroe, Louisiana. Great pressure again, and uh, I'm not sure who got credited for this sack, but you see Woodard gains T.J. Randall, uh, host of Bears there, and we force Lamar to punt. Nice catch there in traffic by Clay Murphy, and uh, back on the ground game, another hard run there. That was another attempted arm tackle. Well, on a one-back power, yeah. uh, Beasley. Uh, we missed the blitz pick up there and uh, again sacked unable to uh, you know to seize the momentum and then kind of an unfortunate bounce right here hits Kirby O'Meara our senior center from Georgetown he came back to to Texas and uh, not very good field position to put the defense in but you know these are the things that we've got to do defensively is have a mindset that even on a short field regardless of the situation uh, that we make a stand and uh, uh, they found a little uh, they found a little identity there to that uh, nub tight inside on this outside zone play. Yeah, they were running it uh, repeatedly there. and Great hustle there by Matt Hornbuckle, the senior from Colleyville. Then we just completely bust the coverage right here, and we give him an easy seven. Again, tough situation for the defense on the 40-yard line, um, you know, but we've got to do better in those, in, those, uh, in those situations. Yeah, they're back up by a touchdown. Now he needs a response, and you get one here. Nice job by Howard, buying some time, and a great catch by Veasley. I mean, it's not a big game, but it's, again, he turned into a positive play. Well, and then we, uh, we go big ball right here, and uh, Courtney Whitehead, uh, one of his four catches on the night, really challenged Courtney all year, and he stepped up, uh, came back to East Texas, and he really stepped up and uh, really helped our football team with 100 yards in receptions and a huge touchdown. Get a penalty there in your favor, and then this play is great. Fourth down play, Thomas Hart got to get in the end zone, and he fights his way in, and I mean, the defensive back looked like uh, he was trying to wrangle a, uh, you know, Horse calling him yeah, down, yeah. I mean, it wasn't working, whatever he was well, trying we've, there. We've already lost Dixon at this point, so Thomas really stepped up and uh, actually moved Jacoby Walker to the H-back position. But lose contain here happened a couple times tonight, but the pressure all night. Uh, you see right here Woodard with his second sack, the big 6'6", 270-pounder, uh, just playing fabulous football for us right now. Clay good, Murphy back, yeah, another Yeah, Good job by, by Clay, goes unnoticed. And uh, the bubble screen, uh, really we've got 40 yards right here, but we got to put our head down and finish this because this is third and less than a yard, and we're tackled for loss. And uh, we'll teach Jatavius off of that to go ahead and finish that run. Every yard is critical. And uh, boy, I thought we were going to get a turnover right there. The young man made a made a really good catch on the fair catch. Good uh, good pressure there. Uh, Terrence Partee, uh, the true freshman from Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, you had Barry running for his life just enough, but I think it, you know, maybe like that kind of play there, Coach, it forces him into making a throw he's not comfortable with, and, you know, he's got to be hearing footsteps once in a while. Well, we're deep in the fourth quarter now, and, uh, boy, I hear plays really sure-handed, but uh, really bounce right back to him. So we come back now in the outside zone. This is Kelton Warren, the true freshman. I mean, got to hang on that ball, Kelton, but... Uh, uh, Arlington, from, is that right? Yeah, from Arlington, Grand Prairie, and then... What a spectacular throw and a great catch there. Back shoulder. Yeah, I think he brought one him handed. one handed, yeah. Yep. And again, another physical run. You know, Veasley's 210 pounds and he was imposing his will. And then uh, we go with a double move here to another true freshman, uh, Jose Moore. Uh, they, they hold Jose and uh, call for a penalty, so this play will be nullified. But good hustle right there by Thomas Hart, the junior from, from A. Meet. He's catching touchdowns and making tackles. Yeah. Huge play right here. Good job to, uh, I think, Burdett, and then uh, which proved to be the points in the game right here. Another Kamara field goal. Boy, nice to go into the lead, huh? I mean, 20 to 17 at that point after the 46-yard the drive. We've got to clean this up. McNeese really hurt us to this nub side here. We've got to have a better adjustment. Uh, but uh, right here on the uh, on the stretch play the other way, Zach Bush, uh, the junior from Denton, Texas. Good yeah. coverage there, but got beat yeah. inside on that, on that slam well, play. Well, we, we got to have a little help there from our inside backer. Once again, uh, to the perimeter. You can see right there, uh, Jordan Tolliver, a true freshman from Duncanville. 
Texas. Good tackle right here. Good strong tackle there by Justin Hurd and Dylan Winfrey. Once again, though, on the edge right here, um, you know, we got to set the edge a little better and our support has to come up. We'll get this cleaned up. Really nice throw and catch by them. Hitting that play on the short side again here, Coach, and that's Plo, their big back. Yeah, their backs ran really, really hard. This was a conversion down right here. Yeah. Yeah, this is one where they kind of, you know, were able to do just about anything they wanted. Almost every play they ran, I think it was a 15-play drive, 16-play drive, actually, that covered 90 yards. It, you know, it was like death by a 1,000 paper cuts. I mean, they just kind of eked their way down slowly but surely. Well, and they hit the bubble screen right here. We, had a, we didn't get the coverage in on time, and uh, that's going to happen when we don't communicate. So all you need is a championship drive with a first-year uh, starter, first-time starter at quarterback, and a bunch of new receivers in there, Coach. I mean, no, no problem, right? Absolutely. You know, I told Coach Brown, the legends will be made right here. You can see Wilson right here. Good job on the, on the bubble screen. Uh, they come with the, with the blitz. We pick it up. That is a dart. The only, uh, the only reception by Desmond Lewis, and it was huge. Well, and he was battling through an injury. I mean, what a gutsy play to get in there and, and do that. And then, and then Des yeah, there, Desmond yeah. Smith, uh, the redshirt freshman. Both Desmonds uh, played just a handful of plays and uh, made uh, tremendous catches. So Farvesque right there. Well, we just got to make sure we value the football. It's the most important piece of equipment in the stadium. Uh, we missed a block right there, but Kelton Warren, we'll hear more from, from the true freshman. Really unselfish by him and, uh, and Jose good? Moore. Well, how good is that? Yeah. Wow. Whitehead with the touchdown that would provide the difference in the game. and. That is as good a catch as you will ever see in college football. Unfortunately, the extra point is blocked. They make a great individual effort and come off the edge and knock it down. So they're only down two at this point. A field goal wins it for Lamar. He gets some pressure here, but nice job by Barry getting rid of the football. So the negative play is negated. Then he comes back with a nice pass over the middle. And again, the defense, I know, you know, they played a lot of snaps and They've had a lot of guys uh, running around. I mean, they, they had receivers seemingly everywhere. Well, that was a tremendous catch right there and good coverage. Yeah. Uh, put it where nobody could get it but his guy. Uh, again, you know, we allow him to step up and see a clean a clean window there. Good tackle. Need to keep him in bounds, though. We're inside two minutes. This was a tremendous throwing catch right here. Yeah. Got it over the 6'3", Zach Bush. But once again, they come with that nub side run for about seven yards. We've got we've to come up with some uh, creative ways there. Um, really interesting play call, sprint to the boundary, pass is incomplete. And then uh, the last play of the game right here, they run a little scissor route, we get some pressure, and uh, ball's thrown out of bounds. Is it guy over there signaling? Yeah, yeah, we feel, win. Feel pretty good at that point, huh? There's well, and that's the play. best play. That's the, that's the best play in football right there, you know, the victory formation. So just a tremendous team win in all three phases, and some tremendous individuals stepped up when they really needed to. Guys that have been challenged, and guys that needed to step up and play winning football, and they you, did. You've won 102 games now as a head coach at Central Arkansas, and I don't know that I've ever heard you quite so emotional after a game like I did tonight. Well, when you lose, you know, two of the, you know, finest young people that you've probably coached. I mean, and we've had a lot of great ones, but these two young men, Wim Smothers and Chase Dix, but you can go through my Carl Brady and Amari. But behold, uh, we've just lost a lot of really special yeah. young men that have given a lot to this university, and uh, it was great to get this for them. Yeah, it really was. It was good to see the Bears get a break finally. And a break that they earned with that touchdown catch, and that is our play of the game tonight, Coach. Uh, can you tell me a little more about the, the design there and the play? And It was double coverage. I don't know if that was part yeah. of the plan, but it sure worked out okay. Well, we wanted to put a big body on the outside. Coach Brown said, let's run four verticals, put a big body outside. Actually, we had a touchdown pass called back because of offensive interference by Whitehead. Ryan put it up there high, and uh, Courtney went up and got it, and one of his four catches. and. Uh, you know, he's a young man that I've really put a lot of pressure on, a lot of pressure. But he responded tonight for his team, and hopefully this will give him confidence moving forward. He's a, he's a very dynamic, very talented young man, and if he can take this and build on it, uh, he's going to have a special career here at the University of Central Arkansas. Yeah, he told me early in the season, he, he admitted he was nervous, you know, yep. and he had a hard time kind of adjusting and settling yep. in. Well, guess what? He settled in. He could really take off with, his, with this performance tonight. There's no doubt about it. All right, we're going to take a look at our players of the game, and you might hear that name again coming up in just a moment. Stay with us. At Zaxby's, all of our salads are made fresh to satisfy any craving. Like the blue, with a bold taste of real blue cheese and buffaloed or blackened chicken. The house, or the Caesar. With so many flavor-packed choices, you'll be seeing salad in a whole new way. 
Guess someone forgot to tell us that salads are supposed to be boring. Zaxby's, indescribably good. It's the model year in closeout at the giant Crane Buick GMC. The 13s have to go, so get our largest savings of the year on Acadia, Terrain, Verano, and La Crosse. Right now, new GMC terrains start for just $23,995. Get discounts up to $6,000 off new Acadias and Enclaves, and new Buick Veranos start at just $19,995. Plus, the all-new 2014 GMC Sierra has arrived. And you'll get the Crane commitment, including a 100,000-mile warranty. It's the model year in closeout at the giant Crane Buick GMC exit 127 in Conway. Time now to take a look at our players of the game. Plenty of uh, credit to go around, coaches, we talked about, but on offense, we're going to split it, and on defense, we're actually going to split it. Let's start with Ryan Howard, uh, your quarterback who stepped in for Winrick Smothers, 26 of 40, 281, three touchdowns, and uh, you know really showed that poise you needed in the second half. Showed tremendous poise, got really comfortable in the second half, and you know, of course, left-handed, uh, uh, a little bit of a change in the game plan, but uh, you know the junior from Birmingham really stepped up. Uh, and uh, earned the respect of his teammates tonight. And I couldn't be more proud of, of Ryan and his family was here from Birmingham and coached with his dad at Sanford many years ago. And uh, he showed that he can lead this football team. And uh, of course, I was very pleased with his performance. Well, co-offensive player of the game and maybe his new favorite target coach. And Courtney Whitehead sure likes catching passes from left-handers for sure, but uh, four, four catches for him and that all important touchdown at the end, 100 yards for him tonight. Yeah, 100 yards, uh, one, te uh, one touchdown catch, uh, actually two touchdown catches, but only one counted. And, right. uh, he did have one early in the game for 53 yards. If we can get Des Smith, Des Lewis, and Courtney Whitehead on the field with the other weapons we have, uh, we got a chance to be a dynamic offense moving forward. Stephen F. Austin coming in next week. We'll talk more about them in just a second defensively, though, before we get to that. Yep. Uh, another split vote here, but, yep. uh, boy, some great individual performances for these two guys. Well, it was great to get senior Justin Hurd back on the field. 11 tackles, two tackles for loss. He did have a half a sack. He was all over the football field. Those fresh legs uh, really showed, and he made his presence known. And then Jonathan Woodard, uh, the sophomore from Brentwood, Tennessee, he had six tackles on the night, and he had two big sacks. Yeah. And we could have named other guys uh, on both sides, but those four young men had spectacular performances tonight. All right, well, uh, you get to go back on the stripes and trying to extend that, that winning streak. We reestablished the last time you guys played at home and played very well the last time you guys were in Conway. Stephen F. Austin, it was a, uh, you know, a, a very disappointing, tough game to accept last year. Uh, and then you guys, of course, won out after that and, and earned a championship here in the Southland yeah. Conference. But, uh, but boy, a big one coming in this week. And you talk about an offense that is hard to guard, and uh, it's going to be a wild one. should be next week. Yeah, I mean, uh, J.C. Harper does a phenomenal job down there at Stephen F. And, of course, they did beat us last year. They scored 50-something tonight uh, against a very game Nickel State team. So we know uh, both sides of the football that we're going to have our work cut out for us. But uh, it's going to be awesome to be back at home. It's going to be homecoming. There'll be a few distractions during the week. We've just got to be a mature football team to build on these last couple of games, hopefully get a couple of guys back healthy and not lose anybody during the week. Yeah. And, uh, you know, put on a good performance at homecoming and try to move our record to 5-3 and three and get above 500 in the conference. And just, you know, and we're going into week nine, and, you know, we're still relevant. And, that, and that's important and certainly encouraging for our football players. All right, good luck this week. Appreciate it. He back a bear in a corner, and uh, that bear comes out fighting. We've seen it the last couple of seasons, and the Bears are doing it again this year. We'll recap that homecoming game. It's a 3 o'clock kick next week against Stephen F. Austin, and when we come back next week on the Central Arkansas Football Report. If you're coming to Conway for football, get ready to put your game face on. Shopping, dining, accommodations, and more. Come for football. Stay to play. Learn more at ConwayArkansas.org.